major tech outage grounding thousands of flights around the world continue to have a ripple effect tonight and the wreaking havoc on entire industries. Microsoft says the issue is fixed, but the chaos continues tonight from passengers trying to reschedule flights. We want to go live to LAX. That's where Ed Laskos picks up our coverage now. Ed. And Marla, uh, LAX still reeling this late hour from this massive cyber outage. Let's get right into it. Mike will give you a look inside Terminal 7. United, long line there through the terminal. Passengers, most have been here since last night, still trying to rebook to get a flight out. And behind the counter, you can see them. The reason for this big mess, those blue screens of death. Watch. Friday night, LAX, where the lines are as long as the frustration. They've already canceled three flights. I've gone into the gate and wait three times and come back out here. A, a nightmare. Very much so. She and all the others still reeling from the massive cyber outage at United's Terminal 7. The big screens slowly flicker back to life, but many still show a technology issue or late aircraft. Where am I? What am I doing? Where am I going to go? Kind of type thing. We're just stuck here. Everyone else on the plane was freaking out, and so everyone's been scrambling to, like, rebook, but again, we don't know when the planes are leaving. More delayed, more delayed, so today we're not flying. That's just a given, so we're just waiting for tomorrow. An unprecedented IT crash that leaves LAX with long lines overnight, some sleeping right on the floor, others scrambling just to find last-minute hotels. So we crashed in the lobby of the Westin so that my little guy could get a little bit of sleep. And now the frustration at the ticket counters. Trying to rebook another flight, it's the continuing fallout from the bot software update tied to the cybersecurity company CloudStrike. The airlines, the banks, call them the Fortune 1000. And with that said, one small update has caused just about all the systems that use that software to kind of wake up to that blue screen of death. And that blue screen of death knocking out computer screens right through the Southland, Thank even you. at hospitals. She works in the OC. Computers are black. We have the screen of death. We do have wound camera phones that are iPhones, which we're allowed to give medications on. But other than that, we don't have access to patient charts. That is St. John's and Burbank only reporting minor issues. Still at LAX, it looks like a long, miserable weekend ahead, waiting for computers to get back online and their flights to get back on time. Very frustrating because I lost my reservation for the hotel. We're not going to make it on time. And now live, airlines usually tell you to get here two hours before your flight, but because of this ongoing mess, they were saying at least four hours before your flight. For now, we are live, Los Angeles International. Back to the west side we go.